Hey everyone. So this morning, uh, someone released their Unity plugin that lets you run a Game Boy emulator in your project. Uh, so the first thing I did was get a scene running and see how this thing worked in the Oculus Rift. And I'm really impressed. It works super well. Um, speedy, like everything works. There's there is some issues with audio uh, sync at the moment. Um, mostly. Sometimes just kind of the audio will slow down, but the gameplay will stay running full. There is an issue with uh, some sprites not rendering, like in the Pokemon logo for Game Freak, the Freak doesn't render for some reason. But it is the first release, and uh, it's open source as well, so everyone's welcome to try and fix or add features. Uh, so the buttons I'm using at the moment, it's a spacebar for pause, and then Z and X for A and B, and then the arrow keys for the arrows. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool and it's simple enough to get going. Um, one thing I've seen so far, though, it's kind of like I haven't been able to say turn off the Game Boy in once the scene's running. Uh, so in order to turn on a different game, I actually have to close up the scene or would have to load a different scene with that game ready to go, kind of thing. Um, it's no problem. Uh, it's likely a problem that will be easily solved with an update. Uh, yeah, it's not too hard to read the text either. I mean, depending on how far away you put the, the actual text. Like, I can read the score there, 1331 and level 0 and lines 4 uh, well enough. So... Uh, one thing I'd like to see, though, would be it would be really awesome if someone could do link cable support so you know we could have our, our friends wherever they are in the world sitting over there on the couch ready to play some games with us Be quite cool um, yeah we'll, we'll show you I'll show you what the loading of another game looks like so far anyway I'm about to mess this up so we stop our game and then I'm just gonna rejigger the windows here a sec so put the game here, and we have an uh, emulator script running here. So we just select the file name and we type in, oops, the actual name. So that's a file that's in streaming assets here, and you can see Pokemon Red, and it has um, full support for save files as well. So I've already run this just to make sure it works, and I saved it. And when I loaded back in, it seemed to remember everything. Uh, there's no Game Boy Color support yet, so I'm not sure if there's a clock in it for like Pokemon Gold and Silver. You can see the Freak is missing there. Uh, but I mean, it runs perfectly. Otherwise. <laughs> Perhaps this is how people will play their emulators in the future. Get the full retro butt feel. I think I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching.